Even all remarks here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Go video. And in this video, we're playing Subnautica on ALVR on our PC. So this is a free game that you can get at the moment. So if you didn't know, Epic, who make uh, lots of games, uh, have currently released um, their own store. And on there, until the 27th of December, they're giving away Subnautica, which is kind of like a survival sea alien world type game um base building and creature catching and making stuff and whatever uh, if you don't know what that is it's uh, it's basically what you're seeing here um and it's free and it's got vr support so you can play it in 2d you can just play it on your pc so you need a pc decent enough to play it to be able to even start playing it um but if you can play it in normal 2d you should be able to then, hopefully, be able to play it on VR as well. So the Oculus Go has um, a few programs that you can get at the moment, uh, which are allow you to play PC games in sort of various different ways. This one, the great one thing with Subnautica, is it uses a control pad. So you can use an Xbox control pad paired to your PC, not your headset, unfortunately. And you can sort of play around and, and play. And uh, collect some mushrooms and grab some fish. Come here, fish. Come here, fish gotcha. Um, and you kind of go up and down in the water with your shoulder buttons. You do kind of uh, look to go up and down if you want to as well. But you basically get head-free movement. You use the left stick to move left, right, backwards and forwards. And your right stick turns around. And it works really well. And it looks really smart as well. It looks nice. I mean, I've got a pretty high-end system. Oh, run out of oxygen. Get some air. Um, I've got a pretty high-end system, so... Um, I've got an RTX uh, 8, no, sorry, what is it, 2080 Ti, uh, that's it, um, and a Threadripper 16 core processor and all that sort of stuff, so uh, what am I doing with this, I want to put this in here, don't I, to make some food, can I make some food with it, or do I need some more, something else, uh, personal, no, not that, resources, basic, can I make some food with this, oh, well, also, I've played this a lot in on the on the Xbox. I haven't played it for a while, uh, but this is a whole new experience. Well, I guess we're not playing with that fish for now. Uh, oh, look, a different fish. You can't look at it; it's gonna move. Um, but the process works really well. So I will jump in on the PC in a second, just quickly show you uh, ALVR and what it is and and how you do it and that sort of stuff. But um, I just kind of wanted to kind of show you this first. I mean, if you wanted to, you could use virtual desktop and play the 2D version. So it's worth grabbing the uh, going to well, it's worth going to the Epic Store now, grabbing the free game now. And if you ever get the system to play it, um, you've got it ready for you. And this nice kind of 3D sort of uh, VR support is nice as well. Uh, you use the touchpad, not the touchpad, the D-pad to kind of select between your items. Uh, the quality is quite good. It's streaming on, you have to be on the same Wi-Fi network. So you can't be on a different different, different Wi-Fi network or whatever. Uh, you have to be on the same system. Uh, I use 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi and it does look pretty smart for me. Uh, you can use 2.4 but it's not as great. It works better with a NVIDIA graphics card but ALVR now has AMD support. But it's experimental, so I don't think it works brilliantly. But if you've got a NVIDIA card, I think at least a 960, GTX 960, I think it needs. Um, oh, can I, can, I can I fix this? I oh, know, I need to make a repair tool. Uh, but yeah, so if you're interested in this, check it out. Let's uh, jump into my uh, PC, and I'll quickly go over how to set this up. Right, so I've still got the headset on, I've still got the game running in the background, but we'll carry on with that. So as you can see, if you go to epicgames.com slash store, they've got their own store now. And Subnautica, until the 27th of December, is absolutely free. So you just need to sign up for a free account, grab it, and don't even have to install it if you don't want to, but grab it for now, it's free, why not? And Subnautica is a really good game, I do recommend it, I've played it a lot on Xbox. Uh, but once you've got it, you just install it. Uh, ALVR, if you didn't know, is just a free program as well. So if you go to this link, I'll put a link down to the down below to this as well. Um, and you can just kind of install it. So you just install the program. Uh, let's go through here. So you need, as I say, a high-end NVIDIA GPU. Uh, it needs to support this codec, which is why it needs to be a, a GTX uh, 960, I think, at least. Uh, to be able to support it. Uh, nice wireless network and both be on the same system and Steam VR. So if you install Steam, you can install Steam VR from there. 
Uh, you need to install this little Microsoft package here, and then if you do go to this kind of link here, you can go to zip releases and just download the latest one and the zip file. Download that on your PC, install it, uh, da -da -da, install everything. What it comes up like is, I've got loads of things up here, is this. So as you see, you've got this. What you need to do is go to the About tab on ARVR, install the driver. That means that you can talk to Steam uh, and make that work. You can kind of go into this and what you should be able to do is then from this page on the ARVR page is you go to this this link here for the app that you get on your Oculus Go. So your Oculus Go needs an app as well to be able to work. So if you go to that link here, which is this link here, yep. Uh, you can generate a key, so get a key, then you just go to your Oculus account, either on your Android phone, if you've got it, go to settings, go down to redeem key, put it in there, or if you're on iOS, you do need to go to the Oculus website, log into your account and redeem a key in there. Then ALVR will be available on your headset, so if you go into your uninstalled programs, um, it might automatically start installing, uh, and install the program, and then you literally just run it, and then you go to ALVR here, you click start server, and connect to your headset. Literally, your button will appear when it finds your headset. Connect to it, and then that's it. You're done. If you want to learn more about ALVR and how to set it all up, I do have another video. So I'll put a link to that down below and up here somewhere, so you can just jump in and have a look at that. Um, but that goes into more kind of detail, a bit more step by step than this one. This is kind of a basic overview. And you pair your Bluetooth controller to your PC, so not to your headset, but to your PC, and you can control Subnautica. So literally, you just boot up Subnautica. Uh, it'll boot up Steam VR already. Um, boot up ALVR. Make sure you're connected. Uh, and there is a little bit of sort of wonkiness between sort of trying to select menu options and getting into the game. But once you're in, it, it performs and actually works really well. One thing you do need to do is just make sure that the Subnautica is full screen on your PC. Otherwise, you'll get some uh, weird sort of issues. Uh, where you can't control it, but once it's full screen on your PC, you should just be able to walk around and do whatever you want to do. Um, oh. oh, and uh, be able to play, and this is all in 3D. So everything looks 3D. As I say, I've got a pretty smart system, so it works really well. Uh, but let me know what you think about it. Is this something you want to do? As I say, grab it for free anyway, why not? Um, it is definitely a fun experience, and if you can kind of crack on with it, it's fine. It does work wirelessly. I have a wire plugged in, but that's because I'm streaming the Oculus Go to my PC, as you can obviously see. So I want it nice, good quality. So that's the best way of doing it for me. Um, but you don't need a, a wire connected. It does work wirelessly. Uh, and the whole game plays really well, really smooth. I don't have any kind of control issues. Left, right, left, right, left, right. It reacts as about as quick as I kind of imagine. Also, your controller is connected to your PC, so it's the truest connection you can probably get, uh, rather than having to go through the headset. But uh, oh, I missed him. But uh, the controls themselves, I guess, can be remapped. But for the most part, they just kind of work. Oh, go for some oxygen. Hold the uh, left bumper button. There we go. And as now, I'm probably going to jump in and play a bit more of this. I did play a fair bit on Xbox and really enjoyed the experience. So I think it's worth uh, trying again. So there we go. That's Subnautica on ALVR on your Oculus Go. So as I say, you need a PC, you need ALVR, you need Steam VR. But I'll probably make it seem more complicated than it is. But once it's set up, it's super easy. It works really, really well. I, you know, I can see myself properly playing this. I could be sitting on my sofa away from my PC with the Xbox controller playing Subnautica. Other games work as well. So as I say, I've tried some of the things like uh, Beat Saber. So with your one controller, you can play Beat Saber on Steam VR with one hand. You just play one-handed Beat Saber uh, and turn off barriers, um, and you you'd be fine. Sort of turn off the obstacles, and it's actually very playable sort of thing. Uh, and there are other things out there that allow you to add extra controllers and other programs and sort of thing but if you want to see any more of those sort of things let me know in the comments down below let me know what you want to see if there's something that you find that's a bit too complicated you want me to try and explain it in my terms uh, let me know I'm happy to kind of cover anything you guys are interested in a big thumbs up to Epic for giving away a really cool game Super Meat Boy is free in a couple of weeks time and although that's not a VR game you could play that in virtual desktop 
in your Oculus Go if you wanted to. So, you know, it's win-win, really. Keep keep logging into that Epic Games Store and grabbing those free titles. Who knows what other free VR-compatible games will be coming up. Hopefully you found that video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it if you didn't like it. But do let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like it and I'll try to do better for next time. Be calm, one of the Remarkables. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done. I'm out. Have a virtual high five. <laughs>